Hello, I want to show you how to add a boiling effect to any character, even if you already created it on a previous version of Moho. Um, in this case, I am using the elephant from the Jungle Book. This elephant was created, was redrawn and rigged by Adilson. You can check his work on, on our Instagram account and also you will find the links to his account. So basically what I have here is the elephant is rigged. Uh, it's all drawn using vectors. So you can see how um, it is bending and everything is working as it should, I guess. Um, <laughs> so the, the legs are working here. Uh, here you can see the, the legs move, moving and the entire animation, the entire cycle here. All right. So in order to make this look closer to the Jungle Book, to the original movie, uh, so they used the Xerox uh, machines there, so um, the, the, the quality of the line was very special. So in order to apply that, what I will do first is I want to animate this uh, on twos. Right now it is animated on ones. If I check on the timeline here and if I go um, one frame after the, after the other, you can see that this character is moving on once. That means it's moving on every single frame. So it's moving at 24 frames per second. Uh, what we want to do here is to transform that to move on twos. And that will mean that it will move every two frames. So it will be similar to running on, uh, at 12 frames per second. It will be something like that, but uh, it's actually one frame is repeated um, every time. So it's actually animated on twos. So in order to do that, I'm going to set up the timeline to show me markers every two frames. This is the first thing. Um, I am using a beta version here. So here uh, I can set the marker to show on twos just by clicking here. Uh, if you are using a previous version, you will have to go to the preferences of the timeline to do this. But basically the, the, the result will be the same. You can see, I will zoom in a little bit here. You can see the lines here. All right. So that is the first thing. And we are going to use these lines as, as guides. So basically every keyframe should be on top of those lines. If there are keyframes, for instance, here that are not on top of those lines, we will have to move them. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do before moving any keyframes is I will go to the first frame and I will freeze the pose by just clicking here. So now I'm sure that every single bone has keyframes on this frame. And I will do the same in the uh, last frame. So I will just click here and I will do the same in the middle frame. All right. Of this work cycle. So this is just to be sure that even when I move the keyframes, everything will be working fine. All right. Once I do that, let me just scale the timeline here. Now I will select every keyframe of this character. So every keyframe is happening here on the bone layer. So now they are selected and you can see that they are smooth and they are working on ones. All right. So I can change that. I will set this to move on twos. All right. So when I do that, now these keyframes will move on twos. So that means uh, they will move every two frames. All right. Now it is doing some weird stuff because some of the keyframes are not on top of these markers of these lines. So this is what we are going to fix now. So what I'm going to do now, this is normally how I do it. If there is a keyframe that is not on top of a line, I just select it and move it to the left until they are on top of that line. So I just do that. So even here, I just select this and put it on top of that, that line. Then I check this one, for instance, put it on top. Uh, this one is already on top and this one, I will just move it to the left. So now my animation is going to be a little bit um, shorter. So what I'm going to do is that instead of ending on, on 30, it's going to end on 28, which is the, the frame just before the last keyframe, because the first and the, sorry, the last and the first keyframe are actually the same one. So I don't want to repeat that one. So now if I hit play, this character is actually moving on twos. So now uh, if you want to confirm that I can just go here and with the keyboard arrow, I can just go one frame and you can see it's not moving and then the next one is moving and then the next one is not moving, moving, not moving, moving, not moving, moving and so on. So you can see it is moving now on twos. All right.
So now the last thing I, I want to check is that this keyframe should be on it should be in the middle because it's you know you have one step then then you have the second step then you have the third step so this should be symmetrical um i want to be sure that it's symmetrical so what i'm going to do is i'm going to count these lines here so in this step i have one two three four five six lines so i should have six lines at the other step too one two three four five six okay so yeah both have six lines so it's working fine now all right and you can make of course other changes um you could uh, animate the the tail to be a bit softer or whatever like you can modify this but now the character is ready and it's animated on twos now so once i have that what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new style all right because i want to apply a style to the lines of all the layers of this character so what I'm going to do, and this process is a bit, I mean, this part is easy, but, but, but the other part is a bit tedious because I will have to apply the same style to all the layers. Um, but anyway, it's not terrible. So what I'm going to do is go to advance here on styles and I will go here to style and create a new style. All right. And I will call this new style line. Okay. You can call it line elephant or whatever name you want. Okay, I will press enter to create this. So now I am inside of the style line. So I don't want to control the fill color with this style. So I will just uncheck that. I don't want to control the color of the line because it's already black. I don't want to control that. So I will just uncheck this. And I want to control the width with this, uh, with this style. So I will just keep that checkbox. And I want also to apply a brush. So I will just click on this no brush icon here and i will select a brush uh, for now let's say i will just select this one and i will apply some size variation amplitude here and maybe reduce the scale okay maybe reduce the spacing too so let's say something like that and i will apply line boil and i will set the line boil to zero okay so when i set it to zero that means that the the line is going to boil only when the character is moving okay so once i i am happy with this I, I mean i don't need to be fully happy with this we can modify this later but uh this is just the first step so once i have this done i can press ok all right and now i have this style now what i need to do is apply the style to every shape in this character okay and this is the step that is a bit tedious to do um usually what you do is that when you are creating your character you create your style and you apply the style while you are creating the character so that way it's very easy to modify things later but since this uh this file didn't have any styles we have to create it and we have to apply it now so to make this easier i will go to the filter here and i will set kind contains so i will filter by vector so i will just write vector here and now what I have here are all the vector layers on this project. So I will start for the first, uh, by clicking on the first one, I will go to the select shape tool. I will click on select all. So that will create, uh, that will select every shape on this uh, layer. I don't know what I am select. Okay. These parts I am selecting actually. So now they are selected and I will just, I will just go to style one and select line. And now you can see if I zoom in here, these parts, they have the style applied. All right. So now I need to do the same for every single layer. So I will just go to the second one, select all, select the style one, the third one, select all, line, select all, line. So this part is not very fun, but it's not so terrible. Usually you don't have too many layers anyway, but Again, if you are creating your character, it is better that you set up the styles uh, before creating every single layer because otherwise you will have to do this. So line, select all, line, select all, line, select all, line, select all. Line, I will move this down a little bit. Okay, I am almost done. Line, select all. Line, select all. Line, and the last one, select all and line. 
all right so now i can just remove this from the filter so if i remove it now i will show me the the layers as normal so now you will see that the brush if i play the animation the brush is being applied to every um to every layer here now the brush is not working very well now uh, so i'm going to modify that so i will go just go to the style again select the style because i want to modify the style so i, I just went to the top here select line and now maybe it will reduce the line width so you can see i can increase it or re reduce it here so maybe it will be three and here i will increase the size variation amplitude so you can see for instance in, in, par in parts like this one uh, how this is changing the quality of the line and i can make the scale bigger or smaller if it is very big the change is going to happen not too often and if it is small it's going to happen a lot so you need to find uh, whatever works be best for you so let's say this one works for me so now I, I press ok and now if I hit play now this is running with the noise oh sorry the boiling effect so maybe we'll increase the effect a little bit more so again I go to style line um, maybe we'll reduce the scale and even increase the amplitude here so yeah here you have it it's it's more uh, visible maybe it's not so close to the final animation I mean to the original animation but uh, similar and now you can see if i move this bone you can see how the line is actually boiling when i move this bone so see how i can move that <clears throat> now uh this is a spoiler of something that is coming uh with 14.2 all right <laughs> so we hope we can release that uh, version it will be a free upgrade for every um owner of moho 14 so with Moho 14.2, you will be able to also, if you select a, a vector layer, so let's say I select this um, the tail, and I double click here uh, to open the properties of that layer, you can go to the vector tab and you can set noisy outlines and you can set animated noise. So this is similar to the boiling, but you can see that the offset uh, is changing how much the line is being distorted now so this is not about the brush it's about the line itself so i can distort it not too much and maybe with a bigger scale so basically the line is going to move and if i set noisy fills the fills are going to follow that too so if i uncheck this uh, it won't follow the line so depending on the style you want you can check it or uncheck it and usually what you have here is that you can set up the interval so that means uh um, on how many frames you want the movement to happen so it can happen on ones, two, threes or whatever interval you set but what is new here is that you can also set this to zero so now this movement is also going to happen only when the character is moving so let me just increase the offset here just to show you how this works so I will just increase the numbers here a lot and I will, I will press OK and now the tail is not only going to move the the brushes but it's also the vectors that are changing here so it's not very beautiful here i want to go more subtle actually um so i will just reduce uh, how much they move let me just sorry the offset i want to reduce the offset and increase the scale so i just want to give the sensation that there is some redrawing happening here so this can help with the with giving the sensation that someone is redrawing this but that's it so you can take any character uh, and you can create the style for it and you can even after you created the style do you remember that when we went to line here we said we didn't want to change the color so i didn't check i didn't press this checkbox but i can press it here and now i can even change the color of the line if i want so i can i can even do that uh, with the style so maybe I don't want black I maybe I want something 
like close to black but not what uh, not black so now I have this so that's all so now just to finish it I will just select the all the the keyframes the on on frame 29 and I will set up a cycle here so if I set a cycle I have my window here um it will just continue walking forever so that way now my my project can be I don't know 120 frames and the character is going to continue walking all right so that's all I hope this was clear enough and I hope you enjoyed it thank you very much uh thank you very much for watching bye